Good luck on your Pokemon journey. Gotta watch them all. Poke Collection episodes, that is. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Poke Collection. I'm back with an accessory showcase, this time with the Gengar Ultra Po Collection. Um, now, I've showcased quite a few things in the past uh, of the accessories nature and from Ultra Pro as well, thanks to my friends at Banter Toys who sent this to me. Um, and uh, they've been really going crazy with some amazing designs lately. I, th I think the last one I remember showcasing was the Snorlax, um, Snorlax design. And I think they've even just announced for 2023 or two um, the Munchlax Snorlax line, which is looking pretty cool already. Um, but they've yeah they've had quite a few uh, come out recently over the past year. Um, a lot of which have sort of like been delayed in in a way because uh, of you know shipments and all sorts have been it's been all over the place. But um, it's nice to finally have the whole selection or most of it here. Um, so I'm going to be showcasing most of the selection. The only thing missing from here is the playmat. Um, but the playmat is kind of you, you kind of got you guys know what that looks like um, But I will be showcasing another another thing in the future another design soon which does feature a playmat So I'll show you that um, so this is based around obviously Gengar one of my favorite Pokemon um, and they've um, Ultra Pro are really sort of um, tapping into they're really tapping into what collectors really want. They always have done, but I think for Pokemon especially, they've really upped the ante a little bit, um, and they've actually updated their range um, to include, I think, spaces for more cards in the Ultra Pro Brian binders, and also even include additional slots for like the oversized cards, which is really cool. So um, I thought I'd quickly give you guys a look into all of this. Um, we'll start off with the four pocket po for portfolio which is down here so normally this just includes four pockets but what they've now actually got is um uh, i think they've got two slots at the end or somewhere um which holds oversized cards which is really good because where do you put them <laughs> i've actually just been sealing oversized cards and i've had nowhere to put them so i think since um pokemon generations and the first partner packs it's actually nice to have those portfolios because we can start to put those in folders uh, as opposed to just kind of you know randomly in there obviously these are going to be more to do with the current state of the oversized cards the original oversized cards were a bit larger than the ones we're getting now so just keep that in mind <clears throat> it would have been nice to have pockets for those as well but unfortunately they didn't release them in time but they might have them elsewhere so this is a full pocket pocket portfolio holds um, quite a few cards up to 80 standard size cards and it features ghost Pokemon and basically they just have this really cool background and there's sort of plaster Ken Sugimori artwork on top um, but honestly sometimes the simplicity of that is fine for me um, so yeah it holds up to 80 cards and what I really love about what they've done now is they've actually taken it up a notch and they've actually included a little Pikachu silhouette alongside the Ultra Pro logo hopefully you can see that um, it's slightly hard because it's sort of overlapping a little bit. There we go. That's probably easier to see. That's really cool. That's a really nice touch. Um, and of course, they've got in the middle, they've got two slots for oversized cards as well. So it's just one pocket. Um, so that can fit the new current sort of oversized cards, which is really, really nice. So very nice, that one. Uh, and then, of course, you've got the next step above that. You've got um, the nine pocket portfolio, which holds up to about 90 single loaded or 180 double sided. So same design, same design here um, on the front and the back, looking really cool. And actually, when I first started, I started using these ones just for like simple collections. Um, and actually, I'll, I've actually started to change the way I do things as well, but I'll go into that a little bit later. But very cool, simple as, and it's nice to keep, you know, sort of your casual collections. Now, the great thing about what Ultra Pro are starting to do is that they've acknowledged that the sets are getting quite big. So they also understand that, you know, when you're collecting sets that they don't actually, you know, the, the nine pockets might not actually be able to take an entire set, whereas it used to in the olden days. Um, but now, what they've got is these Ultra Pro Binder portfolios, which they've had for a while. Um, they've had straps on them. I think this one's this one with the strap. Yep. And um, they hold nine pockets, but they hold up to 360 cards. I think double-sided, and it has 20 pages. Um, so that's a really, really good amount. So when you're collecting a master set, um, I think you've got sort of like about up to 100, almost nearly 200 uh, cards. 
I think you mo more or less are able to get m the majority of a master set in there, but definitely a main set if you get all the cards in there. I'll just open this up. That's already open there. So these are these are the blinders that I use for like trading now, and I love I really love the the design of this. It looks so vibrant, very very cool, and you just protect it by uh, you know obviously the binder here. And the great thing about these is that they are side loading as opposed to top loading, which also protects the top from having dust collect in your cards. So it protects them even further. And as you can see, there's a lot, a lot of pages here. And I've taken really good care to make sure it's all nice, brand new and shiny and very visible as well. So uh, very cool, very, very cool. So you know what I actually have used up to now to come really sort of allow me some flexibility with my collections um, has been my two ring binders and I've loved two ring binders and they've served me so well over the years where you can sort of insert refillable nine pocket pages which you can get from your nearest hobby store um, you can get packs of them from Ultra Pro as well um, and yeah there'll, there'll be loads uh, and basically you just refill them and use as many as you need and that's worked really well for me because it's just because you never know how much how many pages you need and you're not restricted However, I'm not sure if I updated you guys recently. I have um, decided to switch things up now. Um, I've got so many collections and transport and making sure they're in pristine condition is, you know, a big thing. And so what I've started to do is I've upgraded to um, Zip Pro, Pro Zip binders, which are effectively uh, like Ultra Pro, like these ones, except they uh, they zip around the side rather than have the strap and one day I will show you guys that a bit more closer you probably would have already seen them um, and so you can actually get them both in a nine pocket version or a 12 pocket version where it's four by three as opposed to three by three so what I've actually started to do is I've started a project behind the scenes and you might have seen on social <clears throat> that I've actually started to get some of those pro binders which Ultra Pro are now doing as well, and they've actually got Pokemon branded ones. I think they've got an Arceus one and a Pikachu one because they've really identified that some serious collectors out there, you know, the not so casual kids, they actually want to keep their collections in superb condition. So, what they've got is basically a zip around the edge rather than a strap. And so, what I've been starting to do is I've started a massive project of rebinding and re sleeving a lot of my collections since the very, very early days of Poker Collection. And so now I'm starting to use these. I'm re-sleeving them, updating them. All my Wizard Coast ones are looking really, really flash and uh, new again, fresh and new rather. Um, and then what you do is you just zip it up and it's awesome because it's closed to the atmosphere. There's no, it's nice and snug, it's secure and there's not a lot of movement unless you obviously open them to showcase them in any way. And it keeps them safe and archival. So I, I will share that with you guys at some point. I've just started that project and I've gone through so many sleeves, so many penny sleeves, so many deck protector sleeves uh, for the rare cards. Um, so that's a project I'm currently doing. Ultra Pro provide those zip binders here. So I don't have one from Ultra Pro here at the moment, but it's really cool to see them doing that. And they're really sort of embracing that sort of collecting culture there as well. So I really recommend you guys look into that. And now they do those binders both in zip versions or strap versions. I ended up deciding that these zip binders are probably the more most definitive versions for me. And they hold up to about 480 cards. So it really gets, I guess, multiple older sets in, the smaller sets. But as I get to the current sets, at least one binder will occupy one set, one master set. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of binders, I think, but um, I think it's going to be kind of nice to have it all snug and everything. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing. All right, anyway, back to this. Um, I thought I'd digress just to let you know what I'm doing with my collection. Now, I, I still use these really cool um, deck protector sleeves. I love, I love these designs, and what I do often for the ultra rare cards is I put them upside down and then sleeve it over the top, and normally it fits perfectly. And then that goes straight into my sleeve. So that's what I do there. And that's a really nice design, obviously, just with a black border there instead. And of course, we've got a deck box as well. In here, you get a divider. 
and I should probably I thought there was an easier way to open that but let's just do that without destroying the box itself <clears throat> so sort of the uh, flip box style this just opens up like this very easy so great for ongoing play and then you've got a nice divider there as well so that's ready to go for a 60 card deck or with some extra spare cards or other special cards that you might want to swap out in there now what's new to me is this one here the final thing i wanted to show you uh which um what do they call it i don't think i don't know what the name is of this um oh it's called an alcove box now this is really cool um I don't know, it just, it's like a, it's like almost double the size of the deck box. And it just takes more cards in there. So I'm actually not sure what's actually inside. So without damaging it, I just want to quickly cut through that. Just there. Obviously, using a knife, be safe at home, kids. Otherwise, use scissors or try peeling. So this is more of like a fabric kind of enclosed box. And it's got magnets, I think, here that's holding it down. Oh. Actually, how do you even open it? Oh, there we go, right. That was nice and snug. Oh, it's very fresh and new. You can sort of you can sort of see it. Right, so we've got some paper here protecting it. Oh, it's like nicely protecting it. I love the I love that they take so much care with. Oh right, this opens all the way through. <clears throat> how cool is that? So this opens up all the way through um, and just kind of magnetizes and it snaps closed. I'm actually going to use these for my sleeves going forward, so I'll put this on my desk. I wanted some new tins. I've had these bleach tins which I've been using for so long, but I think it's time to change. Um, but this is really cool. So it's basically like a cube, um, if you look at it from there. So it's just it's got just a bit more room than a regular deck box, and it's more, I guess, gives you flexibility to open more it just looks kind of neat and you can sort of do it like this I'm, I'm not really sure what the purpose of that is maybe you could sort of I don't know can you like put it in an angle I don't know really know what you can do with that um, either way it's a nice little design box nice little felt box there and um, I think it's just easier to close and open but it's really snug and tight as well so cards won't just sort of start falling out if you take this with you in your backpack so very cool very nice um yeah so that's that's really it thank you band toys for sending this to me and thank you ultra pro for producing some great stuff um what how are you guys um sort of have you got any updates on how you are collecting your items at the moment let me know in the comments below um and i'll see you guys with um some more stuff in the future so watch the space take care and i'll see you soon bye